Okay, here's where we're at with this setup. I've made a cap bank, and just to show you how far we've gone, we've got um, these a 3 UF cap, and I have five of them, so there's 15 microfarads there, and of course our 24 microfarad cap that we had on here. Now this generator actually started with a 12 microfarad cap. Um, and we've now gone up to 24, 37 microfarads. Is it 37? 24 and 15? That's probably more, isn't it? 39. 39 microfarads instead of the 12. And it is now running at its best as far as input and output goes. Um, the thing with this is it is now running at about 70 hertz instead of the 50 we have here so that may have something to do with it but um, even slowing this down running it on 12 volts at about 1600 rpm it is still better set up like this um, You'll see I have an extra cable here, and that will come into play shortly. So what I've decided, this winding that the cap is on, or caps now, um, is just one big waste of power. Even without a load on the generator, if I plug the cap in, the motor bogs down slightly. So all your generators out there, even when you're not using them, are still under some load and this load that's being created is a total waste of power so with this setup the two wires from the main winding the 240 volt out are completely separate to this winding here, this is its own little winding um, so I'm guessing it's just to build up the magnetic field in the generator and shift the phase slightly so as we get our um, 50 hertz in our case um, 60 over in the USA I think they use but anyway enough on that um, we've got our 60 watt bulb here and our meter to show our voltage I've disconnected it from running through the run batteries it didn't really seem to make that much difference um, once they started coming down they came down fairly quick they are pretty low at the moment and I'm going through the 24 volt um, battery bank down here as we had set up before with the 12 volts so we're just coming out of our rectifier through the positive out of the negative through the globe back into the rectifier now the battery here that I had on that wouldn't take any more than 12 volts came up to, to about 12.6 so it was working really good as a reconditioner. Our battery voltage at the moment is 22.4 volts across that 24 volt battery bank. These ones here are at 24.6 so we'll come down to about 23.6 when I start it. So what we're going to have a look at, I'm going to show you how wasteful um, this capacitor coil is within a generator so um, we're going to fire it up now this wire here happens to go up to 1, 2, 20 watt CFL globes so 40 watts up there hanging off the roof so what we'll do is we'll start it first so we can have a look without that connected. That is our amp draw. Now this will come down a little bit because the batteries are getting low. You can see here. So it's going slightly slower than normal. charging and our light is running well so once again the answer on that I'm going to switch 
switch it off. I'm going to include CFLs into the cap bank that is on this winding that normally is just hooked pure and simply to this capacitor. We'll start it up again. discovered so far. We can pull an extra 40 watts off of this side of the generator without putting any more load on the generator itself. So your generators that are hooked up like this that you have are absolute total waste of um, power in the way of consumption to drive it. So there you go, simply by increasing the capacitor bank whacking on a few CFLs we can draw the extra 40 watts off of this cap bank without affecting anything whatsoever on the generator or the output side of it so I'll keep on playing around with it um, and like I said if anyone out there uh, is into these generators as in repairing or know exactly how they work I would like to know what this is really used for. Like I said, as far as I can work out, it's to shift the phase or adjust the phase within the alternate, uh, the generator itself. Um, an electric motor, this would be included in the run windings to chuck half the run windings out of phase. But this is a total separate circuit altogether. These two windings are in no way joined up. Uh, open circuit. Okay, well that's what I've got for you now, so um, that's a pretty good discovery. In fact, I'm going to get my petrol generator, and uh, which is a three kilowatt, and looking at this, I reckon I can draw an extra kilowatt off that generator without um, using any more fuel going through the motor to do so. Okay, till next video. Cheers from the Tin Man.